Okay, so I think TikTok is nerfing me again. So before I take another break from posting, like I did last time, um, I just figured I'd try doing something through the app and making a video longer than a minute because they prodded me about that the other day when I logged in. So we're going to try this, and if I'm still not getting any views, I'm just going to take a break and then come back, but I'll still be active on my other socials that aren't nerfing me. So I have this um, watercolor sketchbook that I got two, three years ago, I think. Um, I'm one of those neurodivergents who regularly buys new notebooks with the idea that they're going to fix my life. Um, and I have big plans and then I, I peter out on them. But I got this one specifically because it was watercolor paper and... Um, doing watercolor tests in just the regular sketchbook that I have was not working out for me. And I haven't looked in this for a while, so we're just going to explore together. Um, I think I just got this on Amazon. It's nothing special. I think I just looked for watercolor sketchbook. Ah, okay. So yeah, I started using these in 2020. Um, these are paint tests for my Year of Lyrics project, which you can find on my Patreon is probably the easiest spot to find that because there is a, a post where I put all of them together. So um, week 16 is actually the week that I started my Patreon. So I've been doing that consistently since then. Um, and I started doing just a little paint test to see how colors would mix together and how I could do a a thing that I wanted to do that I hadn't tried before. So this was honeycomb. Um, and I tried one with masking fluid, I think. And uh, I ended up doing colored pencil and watercolor combination. Uh, yeah, there's more here. So this is what I ended up doing. Uh, but yeah, so it was just kind of like a color test. And here's another one. The I'm betting I know what's on the other side of this just because I know <laughs> um, what the fluorescent means. This was another week. Um, and this is just me testing colors of watercolor pencils to do the crystals. And yeah, so the the fluorescent that was on the back here that you can see has bled through the page a little bit was because I was doing a test for another week where I was using a black light and fluorescence to um, make an effect. So I was seeing if I could use black 2.0 over top of fluorescent and still have it shine through, which it does. It just didn't shine enough. So I actually ended up doing something a little bit different. Uh, this is a little thing that I made for a friend because I had a big emotion and I couldn't figure out how to do it except with art, uh, which is vaguely regular for me. Oh, and then, um, sorry, I know this camera work is like really awful. Um, yeah, the bean ball. <laughs> I made a polka ball because I had a conversation with one of my other friends, Chrono, which you can see from the note there. I'm glad I wrote that down. Good job, Path Katie. You're making it so that you remember things, which is great. Then, yeah, I did a, just like a full watercolor swatch of all of my watercolors that I had at the time. I need to do this again, but in like a better format honestly, because I did get rid of most of the trays on the bottom there. Um, and I do have a combination of stuff that I had that was old that I'm still using. Like you can see the little line there that says post depression. Um, cause I had a really bad depression slump and didn't do any art in the middle of it. So I had a bunch of art supplies just sitting around. So those are kind of like dried out and weird, but I'm still using them. Like they're fine. It just is a little bit more annoying to put into a pan or whatever. I think that's it. I feel like that's the last, oh no, it isn't. Never mind. Um, maybe that's it. Not quite. Okay. Um, this is another year of lyrics for one of my favorites. Um, that was a hosier quote from, from a song. And I was figuring out how I wanted to do a peach. Um, so I did, you can see, I kept pretty good notes here because I was posting it to, to my Patreon. Um, this is stuff that has only been seen by Patreons before I'm realizing, which I don't know. It's been ages. It's fine. I'm, I make the rules anyway. Um, 
so here is colored and watercolor pencils, watercolor pencil and watercolor, colored pencil and watercolor, and then all of it. <laughs> and I think I ended up going with the colored pencil and watercolor. I think. I don't 100% remember. Um, but I was doing just like the full peach and then the peach with a bite taken out of it. And that's another Year of Lyrics one that you can find on my other socials. Um, and then the last one here, I had to flip it so that you can actually see what I wrote. Um, this was for week 51 of my Year of Lyrics, which was Rilke Song by ACS, which is one of my favorite bands. They stream on Twitch. They're really cool. You should check them out. Um... There are a couple streams on, on Twitch. I should clarify that. Their band name is ACS. Um, but yeah, so I was trying to figure out how to do a bruise with some chain mail over the top. And I have a lot of trouble doing uh, flesh color, like skin color. Although I've gotten better at that. I've, I've learned a lot. But yeah, that's a little sketchbook tour, I guess, to see if I can get the algorithm to be nice to me again to satiate the beast if you will but I still have a lot of pages in this I've been putting together a a travel kit for watercolors so that I can actually still paint and do stuff when I'm traveling so maybe this will get some more use again we'll see